I was out at Taco Tuesday on the lake. Everybody hops in the boats and goes from bar to bar and does ta- or uses tacos as an, as an excuse to drink on a Tuesday. Yeah. Um, some of our mutual friends um, asked if I'd take them over to the other bar, um, and they mentioned that Holly was going to be there, and I gladly obliged and said absolutely. Um, had one of the, the guy's wife's trying to fuck my leg the entire time over there. Shout out to Marka. <laughs> um, She's going to hate you for that. To hate you. Um, <laughs> So uh, we get over there, and I'm just blown away. And I had also, I was recently out of an engagement and pretty beat up over that, um, but just madly in love with Holly. And But I had just recently read a book, um, and it explained the the dynamics of, of men and women, and it helped me understand how any man that just falls face first for a woman is ultimately going to end up turning that woman off and drive her away. Hmm. And I read, you know, I studied the dynamics of that and realized that if I just introduce myself, make a very quick impression and walk out of here, I probably have a better chance of seeing her again. Mm -hmm. And against every fiber of my being, I closed my tab after 10 minutes, said a quick goodbye and left. I think I cried the whole way home, too. <laughs> Knowing damn well that she was going home with that other couple, too. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I, you I, were already, like, kind of swinging. Um, yeah, I didn't exactly know what it was. Mm-hmm. I was just fucking my friends. Mm. Um, she I was, didn't know there was I a term myself, for it. Yeah, I made myself be single for a year because I had always been in relationships. Mm-hmm. None of them went well. So yeah. um, that, was, that was during my, um, I don't want to say celibate time, but my single year mm-hmm. is whenever I met him. And, uh, yeah. Far he, from celibate. Yeah. yeah, far from celibate. I was going home with that other couple to, you know, go have some fun. <laughs> so that's how, that was our first uh, face-to-face. And then um, I was in the manufacturing business, and she was in the tax credit business. She hit me up on LinkedIn. And we chit-chatted a couple times. It was like six months later. Yeah, we chit-chatted a little. I think it quickly, actually, did it? How fast did we move into going um, on a date? It was just like two weeks that we were on that messaging gotcha. thing for the poker run. And I uh, invited her to a, a, a boat poker run with me as my date, um, since she lives nearby and knows most of the people there. Um, you know, we'd never hung out for more than fifteen minutes, but I invited her on a four-day event, mm-hmm. um, and she she agreed to go with some caveats, and that main caveat was. When we get to the hotel, you have to make out with me in front of the hotel. And if there's a spark, I'll stay. And if there's not, I'm turning around. Wow. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I was serious about this, like, one That was year eight years and two thing, months ago. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm assuming it worked. So it what works. we're saying is I'm a great kisser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. And he's very charming. <laughs> so, okay, so you guys obviously, you know, the sparks are there. Mm-hmm. How yep. did you know that this was something that extended beyond just sex? Well, that first date night, um, we were sharing. I, since it's a four-day boat party, you kind of get your, your crew that's on your boat. Um, there was another couple that was with us that I'd never really hung out with before, but I think she was a cam model, mm-hmm. um, and he's a wild party guy. Um, we were sharing a, a big hotel room with them, and... They were super cool. Yeah, great people. Um, I knew they were swingers. Um, I'd been in and out of the lifestyle, um, you know, for many years. But somehow, after partying for a while, next thing you know, we're all in bed together having a foursome. Mm. They were a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had, it was like the first time that I had ever um, had fun with, like, toys and people. Like, we had, like, masks on, like horse heads and like roosters. Everybody, everybody was having a blast. Yeah, we were just wow. like, yeah, and it wasn't like a sex there, fuel there might night. There like ended ecstasy involved, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, that I, I had, I never oh, been yeah. drugs. Okay. Yeah. I mean, as a teenager, yes, but yeah, no. you're right, you're right. we were just having just fun, you mm-hmm. know, and I was just sober. being goofy. I was sober yeah, back then. Yeah, you were then. sober. Yeah, that's why I was like, actually, no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were just having like silly, goofy fun and then it just like turned into sex and yeah, it was, it was amazing. Sorry. Still. And the next morning, <laughs> her question was, if we get together and start dating, is this something we can do more often? And I told her, welcome to the lifestyle. Yeah. 
<laughs> and by the way, we're now dating. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.